here. Tell me what Easter is about. Love and joy. Okay, what else? Love and joy. What else? You got that down in your heart? Where? Down in your heart? Down in your heart. Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Isaac. So what's Easter about? Love and caring. Okay, what else? Easter eggs, that's one thing. What else? Open it. Open it. Not yet. What about the Easter bunny? Yeah, I see you got a ear zone. Okay, I got I've got a real serious question for you. If you get one of those big chocolate Easter bunnies, which part do you eat first? I have one. Okay, what part do you eat first? The ears. Everybody agree? The ears. Do you know that most people can agree on that? But not everybody agrees on the fact that Easter is about Jesus. Right? Even the word Easter comes from, from a goddess. It doesn't come to, from anything about the Bible. You won't find the word Easter in the Bible. But what you will find in the Bible... But I have an old... That's mine. That's my age. Yeah? And it has two... I have a top... I have like two of those... A black one and a yellow one. Gotcha. Okay. Quiet a minute. What you will find in the Bible is a story about an empty tomb. Can you read that for us, Polly? Can you read that for us? Uh, yeah, I'm surprising you. That's okay. Yes, I can. You got it inside out, I think. I'm not sure. Just hold it like that. Can you fix it? Okay, Matthew chapter 28. Listen to Polly. Come and see the place where Jesus' body was. What do we celebrate on Christmas? What about Jesus? His what? Birth. But did you know the word Christmas means the death of Christ? Yeah, because Jesus came to die for your sins. Because all of us have sinned and fall short of God's glorious standard. We all are guilty, but God sent His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. If you look at the little Easter egg, it says, Take up your cross and follow me. I'll help you with it in a minute, but i got a little story to tell you. Because, see, Jesus came and died. Yep. And see, everybody thought, because of the miracles that He did and everything, that He was really the Son of God, the Messiah the chosen one that would save their people from their sin. But here he is on the cross, and this says, how did all this happen? How could Jesus end such, Jesus end such a beautiful life in such an awful way? How could God allow his son to be nailed to a cross to die there? Did Jesus make a mistake about who he was? Did God fail? Many people probably had those questions. Even the disciples deserted him. Peter even denied him three times. But it was God's plan all along that He loves you so much that even though you would sin and rebel, He would send His Son, who never sinned, to die on the cross. Your, your debt has been paid to God for your sins. But then when He died, where did your hope go? Yeah, but if Jesus is dead, how do you have hope? But see, then that morning, that morning afterwards... The women went to the tomb and the angels appeared and they said, Look where Jesus had been laid. Did 
Do you know what this is? Wine and bread. On the night before Jesus died, he took his disciples aside and he said, This is the New Testament, the new covenant, that I will die for your sins. In the Old Testament, you had to live a sin-free life. You had to obey all of God's commands. And if you did, you would have life. But can you do that? Just ask my grandkids. How many times you get in trouble on the trip? A lot, Isaac said. But see, Jesus' body was given for you and His blood was poured out for you. Even though He was innocent, He prayed in the garden that if it was possible, that God would take this from Him. But He knew why He came. He came down to lay down His life for you and I. Pilate, listen, Pilate was the authority of the emperor at that time. And he found that Jesus had committed no sin. But he still said, I will let him be crucified because the mob yelled out, Crucify him, crucify him. Finally, Pilate gave in, sentenced Jesus to die on the cross. The soldiers punched Jesus. They spit in his face. They whipped him. They made a cruel crown of long, sharp thorns and pressed it into his head. And then they nailed him on the cross to die. But see, they didn't take his life. Jesus willingly gave up his life. He never said anything. He was like a lamb going to the slaughter because he had to die so that he could save us from our sins. Even people yelled to him and said, If you are the Son of God, come down off that cross. Save yourself and save us. But he didn't because he knew that he had to die for us. Jesus always knew he would die that way. He also knew that his death would bring forgiveness for sinners who put their trust in him. Two criminals were crucified beside Jesus. One believed in Jesus and one did not. And what did Jesus say to the one that believed? He said, today you will see me in paradise. That's the hope that we can have. But how can we have hope if, he's di if he died? After hours of suffering, Jesus said, it is finished and died. His work was completed. Friends buried him in a private tomb. And then they waited. They waited because it was a Passover and they couldn't go. The Roman soldiers were there, sent there to seal, seal the tomb so that no one would steal Jesus' body because he talked about rising from the dead. Sit down, Isaac. But there's no way that they could steal the body because the soldiers were there. If there were the end of the story, how sad it would be. But God did something wonderful. What's that? Jesus didn't stay dead. Can you read this one? What's this one say? Here, I know you can read. Can any of you others read? What does it say? What's the rest? He is not here. What's the rest, though? What's Easter about? He is risen. Watch this. Watch this. He is risen. He is risen indeed. See, that's what our faith and our hope are based on. Now, let's look at this egg. Wow. What is this? Yes, she does. It's a crown. When Jesus came as God in the flesh, God's one and only Son, the crown that He wore was a crown of thorns, a crown of shame. The only guilt that He had was claiming to He was the King of the Jews, that He was the Son of God. And the world crucified Him. But He also said, I will come again. Now look at this Easter egg now. What's in this? What's in it now? This one. Nothing. Nothing. Because there is an empty tomb where Jesus laid. We can have hope that we will spend eternity with God if we'll just put our trust and faith in Him. So I want you guys to understand that while we're out having fun and while we're Easter egg hunting and everything else, that it's about God loving us so much that not only Jesus died for us, but He rose again so that we know that we will have eternal life if we believe in Him. What do you think about that? There's a place that has a seam that makes it easier to open? Okay. Got it. Now, who else needs help opening? Can put that on. Got it? All right, everybody stand up and let's tell the church what Easter is about. He is not here. He is, he is risen. And they say... All right, go have fun.
absolutely wonderful. It just makes your little heart happy, doesn't it?